The 2019 PDP vice presidential candidate Peter Obi and his team are in the Bayasu State Government House as part of his campaign tour. His visit to the governor, Doye Diri, was to woo support ahead of the PDP presidential primaries in May the 28th. The presidential hopeful gave reasons why he is the best choice to clinch the party's ticket. I'm aspiring to lead this country. For me, this is a desperate aspiration. I'm not desperate to be president, but I'm desperate to see Nigeria work. This is a great country, and I have a simple thing to do. I want to move this country from consumption to production. The presidential aspirant also lamented the current debt profile of the country, which he promised to change if given the opportunity. I can go countries after countries and show you what they've done with borrowed money and what they've done with everything. In this country, all we hear is excuse. The job of a leader is not to give people excuse. It's like you're doing here. It's to solve the problem. If you don't know, we didn't hire you to come and come tell us the problem because we know we have a problem. That's why we hired you. We hired you to fix the problem. And if you can't fix it, please go out. Let somebody else fix it. The Bayasa governor says... The presidential hopeful proved his worth while he served as governor of Anambra State for two terms, stressing that Nigeria needs the likes of him to rescue it. Our country needs to be rescued. Rescued from those who, like you said, are giving excuses rather than fixing the problems and the challenges. And we have made it very clear as southern governors that our brothers in the north should at this moment allow very prepared people like you to come into the saddle. The entourage later moved to the PDP state secretariat where he met the PDP state executive and delegates. And he is the best, one of the best hands that can manage our resources. And if we give the opportunity to do that, I believe this poverty index in this country, will be a thing of the past. Only Sophie Owe, AIT News, Nyenagawa. <laughs>